Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this fully loaded 2020 Grand Design Reflection 150 Series 295 RL Double Slide Fifth Wheel. This is pretty much fully loaded, does have the upgraded third AC unit. It's a mini split that the owner installed. I'll show that while we're doing the walkthrough, but uh, it's fully loaded. And I'll try to show all the features that the owner has done to it and upgrades. Uh, overall exterior length is 32 feet, nine inches, and the exterior height to the full walk-on roof with the dual uh, roof-mounted ACs is 12 feet, four inches. One of the first upgrades the owners did the first day he bought this camper, he put this uh, keyless entry on here, which is definitely a nice upgrade. One owner camper. The only reason why the owner is selling it is because he's not using it as much as he thought he was going to use it. And right now he's just really using it as an office. It really has not been used for camping, really. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. Camper weighs just right at uh, 9,000 pounds. It's perfect for a, a half-ton truck, so. All right, you got the idea. Uh, it's double slide, first slide out's a super slide, accommodates the Thomas Paine Theater reclining seat sofa option here. You can show off that Thomas Paine badge. It's got uh, LED lights and heat and massage, which is nice. Not sure what the fabric is. It's like, it's like a stain resistant, uh, water resistant kind of fabric. It's not ultra leather and it's not cloth, so I have to find that out. And the color is going to be like a gray color on your dual sofas here in the back. Also in the first slide out is going to be the freestanding table and chairs. And you do have storage up underneath the chairs, which is nice. And this is cloth and the colors are going to be light tans and uh, some grays. Not sure what, call, what they're calling the wood. I'll have to find that out. This little bench here in the freestanding table and chair area. Uh, ops as an ottoman so you can slide this out and put it in front of uh, either the sofas and kick your feet up and relax which is pretty neat opens up there's storage in there you can stow stuff away this thing comes off the wall so uh, nice concept grand design has done there let's work our way to the back and then work our way around to the kitchen uh, beautiful floor plan rear living room with the trifold sleeper sofa sleeps two adults easily comfortably takes a couple seconds to pull out that trifold and get set up for sleeping this is going to be the mini split this is the huge upgrade it's a forty five hundred dollar uh, upgrade the owners have done uh, it's the most efficient ac unit and heat pump system on the market uh, I, I put this the, definitely this coach is definitely unique for a reflection uh, pretty much the owner has had it professionally installed and they cut a hole in the back of the wall there and uh, pump these lines through. So if you wanted to take this out, it really, it wouldn't really seem to be much to take out and just get a cap and you can cap off that hole and you're good to go. Hidden hinges, by the way, on the reflection line. And that is 18,000 BTUs of uh, AC on that. And on top of that, you have the dual roof mounted ducted AC units. And while I'm talking about it, go ahead and point it out. And they do have the quick dump feature. Open up the louvers, cools off real quick. After it's cooled off, uh, you can close those off and you have ducted AC all throughout. Your furnace on this coach is gonna be a 35,000 BTU furnace. And you do have, I believe it's almost a 5,000 BTU uh, heating source on the fireplace there. Entertainment center here. This is the second slide out, another super slide. Accommodates the entertainment center in the kitchen. Uh, flat screen is going to be maybe a 42 inch flat screen on a pivoting arm. Still kind of push that back and you're good. Huge pantry by the way. And you do have uh, motion lights all throughout this camper so lights kick on automatically which is convenient. Love big pantries. And I almost forgot. Entertainment center area. This is going to be your stereo. And it's Bluetooth uh, smart device ready. So, all the good stuff by Furion, uh, CD, DVD player, USB charging, or USB hookups right there, all the good stuff. Your hardware is going to be like a brushed nickel hardware finish. And also in the second slide out is the Furion appliances here, the microwave, stainless steel finish by the way. 
that may have been part of a package and nice LED light accent here on the knobs there let's leave it on looks cool oven eh, it looks like it may have been used three burner gas cooktop oh you do have a beautiful backsplash by the way kind of a subway towel and also in the second slide out is the eight cubic foot refrigerator by Dometic and I will show you this does have uh, you can actually set the temperature to wherever you want cold cold coldest there you go it's not preset to one temperature which is definitely nice and you do have the wood finish on your doors all right hutch area here and I believe yeah yeah you do have a charging station here 110 outlets all over this coach and again that subway tile in your hutch area and you do have the island kitchen nice farmer sink your flooring is going to be the residential grade uh, flooring it's like a plank wood show that to you I'm tracking dirt in here but anyway this camper should clean up pretty good You do have a Max Air uh, vent fan on this. Uh, I'm sorry, a fantastic vent fan on this. And let's see if it's got a rain sensor. Yeah, it does. It's got the little blue umbrella. So it's a fantastic vent fan with uh, rain sensors, which is nice. And we'll go outside and we'll check, but it looks like they do have the Max Air vent covers on it. And your thermostat, you do have a Nest thermostat, which is outside. I'm going to show the monitor panel here when we get ready to go outside. Shower, it's got the little squeegee door thing. Squeegees off when you close it. And anyway, pretty neat. Big skylight, by the way. And yeah, you do. You have two medicine cabinets. One above the uh, China toilet porcelain toilet and you also have one in the vanity area above the sink which is nice a lot of manufacturers just give you a mirror all right walking into the master bedroom queen bed and this is a purple mattress uh, another upgrade the owners have done so this bed does lift up lots of storage up underneath you have 110 outlets on each side of the bed you have a nice charging station there for smart devices right there in the center just above the headboard I did check this coach for water damage I open up the corners or the closets cabinets and just look for any wrinkling in the wallboard any staining or anything like that I did not find any issues there are no red flags on this coach so nice little like barn door pocket door there solid wood by the way or wood pocket door it's not just a curtain nice closet there big deep closet If you wanted a TV, TV would go here, your cable and the satellite hooked up, ready right there. There's your third AC. And like I said, you're all ducted all the way through on your AC and your heat. Installation on the roof is going to be 40 uh, R40 and, and the floor is like something like a R35. Uh, this is rated at zero degrees. Uh, it's Four Seasons uh, climate package on this coach. Uh, it's fully loaded. It has all the good stuff. You have 12-volt heat pads on the tanks. Your gate valves, everything are all protected and inside, uh, away from the elements. And I'll try to show you that when we get outside. This is your monitor panel here. shows you where you're on your battery, your fresh water tank, your black, which is your toilet tank. I don't have my glasses on. He's got some... Uh, you got two gray tanks on here, which is your sink and your shower. Awning. You have dual awnings on the outside of this coach. Uh and water heater you do have i believe it's an eight gallon water heater uh, that the owner actually installed uh, the original water heater uh, burnt up and so he actually installed uh, it's more like a residential uh, water heater which i'll show you when we get outside uh, but anyway a step light and you have your slide buttons here and there's your second awning button yeah
easy stuff to figure out. One more look and then we'll go outside. Non-smoker, uh, it's just a, it's a little dirty on the outside, I'll be honest with you. Uh, we're in December, so uh, I kind of put a rush when the owner wanted me to list this. Went ahead and put a rush on it. Let's start in the back with the mini split AC unit and then work our way to the front. Plus the sun's going to get me right here. So <clears throat> dual ACs and uh, I'm sorry, dual awnings and uh, uh, there are obviously power and full adjusting. And you do have the LED lights, which are connected to the sidewall. So when the awnings are rolled up, you still have awning lights. You do have the uh, outside marine speakers on this with the blue LED light accents in the speakers. I don't know if you can see that. Nice reflection badge there. Alloy wheels. All right, let's show off this mini split and show you. This is the most efficient uh, AC system you can get, definitely on a camper. It's 18,000 BTUs of AC, and it also is a heat pump. And that's where they mounted it. And anyway, if you wanted to take it off, I can't. I can't imagine it being too much of a pain. Uh, oh, you do have uh, this uh, hitch receiver on the back is rated at 3,500 pounds. Spare tire, enclosed, heated underbelly. There's your heated underbelly there. And you do have the four-point uh, auto level system on this, which is nice. And I think that was... Uh, Part of a package for 2020. I think that was a, a new a new feature. We're kind of in a tight area here, so uh, anyway, I'll try to get as detailed as I can. You do have the backup camera, and the backup camera. Uh, I'm sorry, your uh, backup prep uh, hook. You, so if you wanted a backup camera, you get one, and uh, you can see what's behind you. Yeah, I'm tight. I'm getting in tight back here. Okay. Aluminum alloy wheels that may have been part of a package and the owners have done some roadside hazard stuff to the uh, To the wheels they they filled it with something But uh, not nitro, but something else So I guess when you have a blow eye doesn't just you don't end up uh, Going crazy on the road another reflection badge there. Uh, all your decals are in good condition You know the owners uh, bought this in 2020 so um, 50 amp service and you do have the little light there to show you have power coming in shore power uh, nice 50 amp marine cord stock cord you unplug it and roll it up and stow it away nice and clean look when you're traveling down the road 35,000 BTU AC unit uh, <laughs> furnace uh, getting ahead of myself this is gonna be the 60 gallon water heater it burnt up uh, the owner well anyway uh, so in instead of trying to get a part and waiting on it because of uh, supply uh, issues with COVID, uh, the owners, well, I'll show it on the back side there. He put in an eight gallon uh, residential water heater. There's your auto leveling system here. Read the directions. You're good to go. This is your water manifold set up here. Uh, easy to winterize. Just follow their directions. You have outside shower up top there. Uh, looks like a black tank sewer flush here and city water hookups right here. And let's let's show off everything. 110 outlet there. Oh, motion detector light. I didn't turn it on. But anyway, you get the idea. And those are all throughout. Water pump switch here, so you don't have to walk inside to kick on the water pump. Cable hookups. You get the idea. Oh, your gate valves. All your gate valves are all protected inside the heated compartment area here. And this does have a thermostat, nest thermostat for the uh for the storage bay here. And I'll show you. This is a heated storage bay and there's actually a vent there. So that's definitely nice. And the baggage doors are, they feel like they're insulated, but they're slam latch baggage doors. And as I always say, gotta love them. All right, uh, there are two 30 pound LP tanks. The owners took them out, uh, but he has them, so. I did check this coach for delamination, which is the bubbling on the outside did not, uh, have any that I've seen uh, Yeah, this lights gonna hit me beautiful front molded fiberglass cap and you do have the nice LED light there on the front and The way you turn that on is this little switch there. Let's kick that off Nice trailer or pin box here nice setup 
and it's got some amazing turn radius on that. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the garage in the front. There you go. Yeah, that's a motion detector light there. And again, your electric jacks. Not sure what the size is on the awnings. It's going to be that water heater I was telling you about. And uh, once he, I guess, uh, if he gets the water heater in, the uh, factory one, uh, this disconnects and you just hook up the water heater uh, pretty easy from what the owner tells me. Uh, there's that box for that keyless entry. There's a battery disconnect switch right there. There's your aluminum framing all throughout. Slam latch baggage doors. LP tank there. Let's show off the decals a little bit. It's dirty. Uh, the owners have not had a chance to clean it. Oh, I didn't show the... I gotta show all the tires and the wheels. There you go. You get the idea. Oh, the owner said uh, this coach only has uh, 250 miles on it. So, on the tires and everything. There's your Arctic insulation, Four Seasons protection right there. I know I didn't get everything. The owners have done really a lot of stuff to this, uh, a lot of upgrades. But uh, anyway, if you uh, want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad or you can call 502-645-3124. You always deal directly with the owner. And if you like this video, I appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow Help Sell by RV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.